Good evening and welcome to Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021. My name is Shiraz Sadiq and as a serial entrepreneur and sought after guest speaker, I can appreciate what entrepreneurs go through to generate more business. On behalf of Canadian SME, thank you all for joining us today for Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021. Of course, tonight would not be possible without the support of our exclusive banking partner, RBC, our shipping partner, UPS, and our award category sponsors, KPMG, HP, GoDaddy, Zero, Zoho, Nerds On Site, MyTax, and Alexio. It's an honor for us to celebrate and recognize excellence in the Canadian small business community. More than just business owners, Canadian entrepreneurs are the innovators in our country that are pushing our economy to the next level, creating a stronger, prosperous business community. And I'm thrilled to be your host for tonight's program. When an entrepreneur takes home a business award, it solidifies their reputation and increases the reliability in the eyes of others. Receiving an award as such as this is validation of all their hard work that they put into making their business happen. Now, whether they take home an award or simply are nominated, it means a great deal for any business owner who is striving to gain more visibility for their business. The Canadian SME Business Awards is a true honor that all business owners look forward to receiving. The Canadian SME Business Awards is an important date on the annual calendar because it marks the day we celebrate and congratulate everyone who's made a positive contribution to our country's economy. Last year, we had a very successful turnout with over 500 guests and celebrated over 500 diverse businesses from across the country. This year, we want to continue to show that same support and appreciation for SMEs across the country. Tonight, we are thrilled to celebrate and recognize 31 winners from across Canada through this online red carpet gala. Now, there must be a red carpet around here somewhere. These businesses are making a huge impact in their industries and in our nation. Once again, on behalf of Canadian SME, I want to thank our partners. Again, RBC, UPS, and our award category sponsors, KPMG, HP, GoDaddy, Zero, Zoho, Nerds on Site, my tax and Alexio. All thanks to your support, we're able to successfully host this event for the third year in a row and put small businesses at the forefront of everyone's mind because of their contribution that they make. With your support, we're able to highlight the importance of continuing to put on events like this, creating a great platform for small businesses from various industries to interact and learn from one another. In the future, we hope to continue to organize events of these kinds, and we're hopeful that our platform will get stronger with time. We certainly will be happy to have your support in our future endeavors. Thank you as well to all of our judges who donated their time and expertise to go through the process and calibrate who should come out on top. Now, after a meticulous review, this diverse panel has evaluated these outstanding businesses that we'll be celebrating tonight. Let's give them, all of our judges, a virtual round of applause. There's a few people we'd like to thank. The Honorable Mary Ng, Minister of Small Business Export Promotion and International Trade of Canada. The Honorable Nina Tangri, Ontario's Associate Minister of Small Business and Red Tape Reduction. The Honorable Perrin Beatty, President and CEO of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce. And of course, our friend Rocco Rossi, He's the president and CEO of the OCC, the Ontario Chamber of Commerce. Dan Kelly as well, who is the president, CEO, and chairman of the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. You'll know them as CFIB. And as we all know, through legislation, the government plays a significant and crucial role in creating an environment for small businesses to thrive. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Ontario's Associate Minister of Small Business and Red Tape Reduction, and she's also the MPP for Mississauga Streetsville. Now, professionally, Nina is an entrepreneur and small business owner with over 30 years of experience in, in the financial management space. Until her election to Ontario's 42nd Parliament, she was the CEO of Tangri Insurance and Financial Group and president of the Tangri BMT Insurance Brokers. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Nina Tangri. 
Hello, I'm Nina Tangri, Ontario's Minister of Small Business and Red Tape Reduction. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Canadian SME Business Awards. Over 90% of all businesses in Ontario are small businesses. You are the economic engines that drive our communities. You employ our friends and neighbours. You make our main streets vibrant places that people want to visit. I personally experienced what it takes to make your dreams come true. At first, the road to success comes with little other than countless sacrifices. It's a combination of long hours and hard work, but you continue working away and eventually you start to see encouraging signs and you continue to build on them until you make it. Today, we are celebrating those who took a chance on their ideas and succeeded. Those who excelled when it comes to Canadian small business leaders and entrepreneurs. Congratulations to all the award nominees this evening. Being a small business owner is tough, even at the best of times and the last two years have not been easy. It's here in Ontario where we've worked to create an environment where small businesses can prosper and will continue working every day to ensure your success. Because when you succeed, we all succeed. Thank you and have a great evening. Thank you so much for your support, Minister Tangri. Please join me in welcoming the Honourable Perrin Beatty the President and CEO at the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, Canada's largest and most active business network, representing more than 400 other chambers and boards across the country with more than 200,000 businesses of all sizes from all sectors of the economy. Hello from our national capital to everyone participating in today's event. It's a pleasure to be here with you even virtually to celebrate the ingenuity and the success of Canadian small businesses right across the country. Now, I don't have to tell anyone that small businesses are Canada's job creation engine. They account for more than 80% of new jobs in this country. Collectively, they contribute roughly half of our GDP growth. But beyond just fueling our economy, SMEs are also the heart of our communities. They showcase the passion and entrepreneurial spirit of employers, provide opportunities for friends and neighbors, and help breathe life into Canada's main streets and beyond. To put it plainly, small businesses are crucial to Canada's economic, social, and cultural well-being. Now, this has perhaps never been more evident than during the fight against COVID-19. For two years and counting, many of you have lived the reality Canadians and the rest of the world read in the headlines. A disproportionate hardship in the wake of multiple waves of COVID-19, supply chain disruptions, and labor challenges, just to name some of the obstacles. You fought and you continue to fight with all the ingenuity that you can muster to weather these storms. During these times of adversity, we salute every gain, big and small, that you've won for your businesses. It's the reason that events like tonight's Canadian SME National Business Awards are so important. Today is an opportunity to shine a spotlight on all that you've accomplished in the most difficult of circumstances, to celebrate the resilience and the ingenuity that's allowed your businesses not simply to endure, but in many cases to innovate and to grow. It's a chance to truly appreciate your hard work. Without it, there would be no economic recovery or growth for our communities or for the Canadian economy. So on behalf of the Canadian Chamber of Commerce, it's a great honor for me to be able to welcome everyone joining us today to celebrate the talents, the passion, and the determination of Canada's small business community and all that it contributes to Canada and our economy. To all of our nominees, best of luck. Know that your stories, your achievements, serve as an inspiration to all Canadians. And now let's enjoy the show. Thank you so much to Perrin and the Canadian Chamber of Commerce for your continued support of Canadian small businesses. And now, a personal friend. Welcome Rocco Rossi, President and CEO of the OCC, Ontario Chamber of Commerce. As a successful entrepreneur and business executive, champion fundraiser, and dedicated public servant, Rocco joined the OCC, the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, in 2018 as President and CEO. Prior to joining the OCC, Rossi most recently served as President and CEO of Prostate Cancer Canada, where he helped to advance the research, advocacy, education and awareness of the most common cancer in men. 
Thank Good evening, are. everyone, and welcome to one of the most important awards, ceremonies, and dinners ever. Uh, my name is Rocco Rossi. I have the great privilege of being the president and CEO of the Ontario Chamber of Commerce. And tonight, SK and his amazing team at SME Canada are shining a light on the best of the best. And so important because in good times, it's relatively easy to do amazing things. It's in those difficult times, and goodness knows the last two years have been horrendous for so many people. So many businesses were just hoping to survive. But tonight's nominees, tonight's winners said, surviving ain't good enough. We're gonna thrive. We're gonna set the world on fire. And so it is right to be celebrating these incredible individuals. I want you all to be inspired by them. I want you to take those examples back to your or organizations. I want you to clap and applaud loudly because these are heroes. And the more of these kinds of enterprises we get across Ontario, across Canada, the more we are going to win globally. Have a phenomenal evening and congratulations again to SK and the SME Canada team and also to all of tonight's nominees and winners. You guys are awesome. Thanks again, Rocco, for your continued support for Canadian small businesses. The next guest speaker is Dan Kelly, President, CEO, and Chair of the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. Dan Kelly serves as the President, Chief Executive Officer, and Chair of the Board of Governors at Canadian Federation of Independent Business, CFIB, of course. In this capacity, Dan is the lead spokesperson and advocate for the views of the Federation's more than 95,000 small and medium-sized member businesses. Hi everyone, it's Dan Kelly, President of the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. It's great to be with you today and I'm so happy to be part of your award ceremony today. The Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021. These are really important awards, particularly given what everyone has gone through over the course of the pandemic. You know, when we look back at this time, 10 or 20 years from now, those businesses that have been able to survive and in fact thrive during the pandemic will likely still be around uh, because they either born, were born or have, have survived one of the most turbulent periods ever. Uh, so many businesses have struggled over the course of the past two years. And even now, here we are in the spring of 2022, only 40% of small businesses are back to normal levels of sales. The average small business has taken on $160,000 in COVID-related debt. And so it's particularly important, I think, to recognize those businesses that have been able to, to survive uh, and do well over the course of the pandemic. Uh, so congratulations to the winners. Uh, we at the Canadian Federation of Independent Business work hard every single day to serve and support small businesses uh, and we're really happy to be part of today's ceremony. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Dan, and to the entire team at CFIB for your continual support of Canadian small businesses. Canadian SME is very grateful to have RBC as our exclusive banking partner for the third year in a row, sponsoring the Small Business of the Year for up to 10 employees. I'm very delighted to introduce Don Ludlow, Vice President of Small Business Strategy and Partnerships at RBC. Now, as the Vice President of Small Business Strategy and Partnerships at RBC, Don provides strategic oversight and leads a team that is responsible for delivering market-leading solutions, partnerships, and client experiences that go beyond traditional banking to help Canadian entrepreneurs successfully start, manage, and ultimately grow their business. Please join me in welcoming Don Ludlow. Thank you, Shiraz. And I want to start by acknowledging and celebrating you and the entire Canadian SME team. This is the third Canadian SME Award Ceremony. And the fact that we are together again this evening is a testament to the tireless efforts of this team to support Canadian entrepreneurs. Thank you for this incredible program and for your collaboration with RBC. Now tonight, we're coming together to shine a light on the vision and achievements of Canada's business community. Your leadership, passion, and perseverance are an inspiration, not only to me, but to the future generations of innovators and entrepreneurs who seek to follow in your footsteps. In your stories, we see examples of excellence and resilience to aspire to and to celebrate. 
Indeed, 2021 saw small businesses navigate through continued disruption and challenges. Yet your innovative mindset and entrepreneurial determination have held steady and continues to drive you and the country forward, reminding us once again that small businesses really are the backbone of Canada and our communities. I want to thank each and every one of the entrepreneurs here tonight for joining us this evening. I feel personally privileged to join you on behalf of RBC and to represent a program that uncovers your stories and the people who bring them to life. I look forward to learning more about your journeys and celebrating all of you this evening. Thank you. Well done. Thank you for your encouragement and your words. You're an inspiration to us all. Canadian SME is very excited to have the support from UPS as our exclusive shipping partner and sponsor of the Small Business of the Year for up to 100 employees. With UPS, you can manage your entire shipment online. Whether your small business is starting out slow or expanding fast, they can save you time and money. I'm very delighted to invite who I would consider a personal friend, Paul Gasper, Director of Small Business UPS Canada, who is here with us today. Paul was appointed the Director of Small Business for UPS Canada in 2011. He's responsible for educating and informing small businesses about customized services, technologies, and innovations available to us through UPS. He works with a team of small business ambassadors who help communicate how to better leverage UPS tools to help all of us grow and expand domestically and abroad. Please join me in welcoming Paul Gasper. Good evening and welcome to the Canadian SME National Business Awards. It's an honor for me as Director of Small Business at UPS Canada and someone who is passionate about supporting the entrepreneurship community to participate in this important event where we celebrate the innovation, perseverance, and ingenuity of Canadian small businesses. All of you, along with the entrepreneurial community across Canada, continue to inspire each other and organizations like UPS. Your unrelenting spirit highlights your dedication to overcome anything thrown at you, even when sometimes it seems impossible. Whether you focused on your online solutions or used your expertise to develop new and much needed products and services, the successes we are celebrating today provides hope for many other businesses. At UPS, we are inspired by you and we will continue to support small businesses. Be unstoppable. And what is really worth celebrating is the diversity of the businesses here tonight. What a great reflection on our country that business leaders from different cultures and genders are finding success. It is truly amazing to see. And if I look at the awards I'll be presenting later, women are leading the charge. Tonight, we celebrate all of you and this community. Congratulations to all the businesses nominated and thank you for all that you do. Have a great night. Thank you. And thank you to UPS for making all these tools available and all these programs available and supporting today's initiative. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We will be presenting 31 winners from 23 different categories across Canada for the Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021. We're kicking things off with the Canadian SME Editor's Choice Award. This award recognizes the hard work and risk-taking ability and insane drive of Raman Dua. Raman Dua is the CEO and founder of an iconic brand in the real estate industry, SaveMax. The company has sold more than $7 billion worth of real estate since 2010. And it's grown leaps and bounds to a team of over 650 professionals through state-of-the-art technology and a network of over 56 franchisees. They treat their clients, partners, and team members with honesty, integrity, and trust. They don't just help people buy and sell homes, but believe in establishing lifelong relationships. Canadian SME is pleased to announce Raman Dua as the Editor's Choice Award for 2021. Although he was born in India, he has made Canada his home and is doing it at a very successful level.
I'm humbled and honored to receive this prestigious Editor's Choice Award by Canadian Small Business Magazines for Entrepreneurship. It has been an amazing journey for the last 12 years. We started SaveMax from the basement of a house. At that time, there were not enough resources, either it was financial or manpower. But there was a zeal to grow. There was a zeal to start something which can become big one day. And I think that's what built SaveMax what it is today. The journey which started from the basement of a house has reached today as an international brand where we have more than 65 franchises doing $3 billion annual sales volume and have a strong team of almost 1000 realtors all across the country and internationally. So my message to all those individuals and especially new immigrants who are aspiring to become an entrepreneur, please start your journey, make that call, make that decision and make it happen. Creating success for others is the real success for me. And I would encourage you all not only to work on your own success, but work for the success for others. And that is what the true entrepreneurship is all about. Micro entrepreneurship is a concept where you can start your journey and achieve the newer heights. I promise you, if you have dedication, if you have hard work, and if you have a zeal to grow, success is going to come and touch your feet. We are so fortunate to be in this beautiful country, which I lovingly call as land of opportunities. You all have started the journey as a small business entrepreneur. Please ensure, take your chance, take the risk and make it happen. Let's together create success for others and make this country more beautiful. Thank you very much. Now, the first award tonight is the RBC Small Business of the Year for up to 10 employees. The Small Business of the Year is given to a company that is considered a small business that has shown an increase in profit throughout the year, as well as a solid business plan for growth and a strategic outlook. Judges are looking for small businesses that stand out from the rest. The small business that demonstrates innovation, leadership, smart business planning, and potential for growth was awarded the winner this year. Tonight, we have five finalists of all the nominees for this category, and we want to congratulate them all. Revolve Technologies, Rainer Construction Services, Lux Du Jour, Education Consultants Canada, ECC, and Carmela Marketing. I'm very delighted to have Don Ludlow Vice President of Small Business Strategy and Partnerships at RBC to announce the winners. Please welcome back, Don. It is my pleasure to announce the top one RBC Small Business of the Year up to 10 employees award to Lux Du Jour. Lux Du Jour is a Canadian born one stop online luxury boutique where you can shop, sell, consign, rent, restore, and accessorize bags. They take pride in being a trusted and credible online shop where you can fuel your handbag addiction. They are based out of Calgary, Alberta with a secondary office in Vancouver, British Columbia. Congratulations to the Lux Du Jour team. I want to thank the judges and the Canadian SME Business Awards for nominating and choosing Lux Du Jour as the Business of the Year. I also really want to thank my team at Lux Du Jour for really seeing the vision, believing in myself and the company and getting to where we needed to be today. I want to thank my family for believing, supporting and cheering me on throughout this whole journey because as a high school dropout, I never would have thought I would be here today. So I am so honored and grateful to accept this award. Our next award goes to the top two RBC Small Business of the Year, up to 10 employees. And the winner is Carmela Marketing. Carmela Marketing is an award-winning, nationally certified, women-led marketing agency with a high-energy culture of creativity. Their strategies are results-driven, and their approach to digital marketing is always evolving with the market to consistently provide their clients with the best results and an impressive ROI. 
Dreams don't come true without hard work and determination. So consider getting to work with our Carmela marketing team. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, I just found out that we won the RBC Small Business of the Year Award. Um, wow, thank you very much. Uh, this award 100% goes out to my team. Without them, uh, none of this would be possible. And the, you know what, this award is theirs. So again, thank you Carmela Crew and thank you RBC. Uh, what what an amazing uh, opportunity and what an amazing award. Thank you so much. And our final award goes to the top three RBC Small Business of the Year, up to 10 employees. And the winner is Education Consultants Canada. Established in 2007, Education Consultants Canada is a reliable and professionally managed consultancy firm associated with various aspects of Canadian education. ECC provides complete end-to-end -end overseas educational consulting services in Canada that places great importance on learning and has developed a first-rate education system with very high standards. Congratulations to Education Consultants Canada. Thank you, Canadian SME Small Business Magazine. Winning the RBC Small Business of the Year Award under 10 employees is a huge recognition for us at Education Consultants Canada. We are honored and deeply humbled for this award. This validates our work and gives hope to a lot of immigrants who wants to be an entrepreneur and wants to start something on their own. On behalf of the team, we thank you and we are deeply humbled with gratitude. Congratulations to the winners on this recognition and for the difference that you're all making in the business community. And thank you again, RBC, for supporting this initiative. The next award is the UPS Small Business of the Year for up to 100 employees. This award is given to the small business of the year, again, that has 100 employees, and they'll receive it because they've demonstrated throughout the entirety of the year, leadership, innovation, growth in human capital and in their bottom line. The judges considered aspects like a solid financial base, growth again, peer recognition, and how they insert innovation in their business process. And here are the finalists for this category, Work Tango, William Wright Commercial, Surgically Clean Air, Quill, Artha Learning, and One Milk and Two Sugars, Inc. Congratulations for being finalists for the Business of the Year up to 100 employees. Of course, this award was sponsored by UPS. And I'm very delighted to have Paul Gasper, Director of Small Business at UPS Canada, with us today to announce the winners. Welcome our friend, Paul. to all of this year's nominated businesses for doing such great work. On behalf of UPS Canada, I'm pleased to present the Small Business of the Year Up to 100 Employees Award. Since there were so many great companies who were nominated for this award, we have decided to recognize three for their great work. First, I'd like to congratulate One Milk, Two Sugars. One Milk, Two Sugars is a public relations agency and an industry leader in offering a working environment that's rooted in fairness, empowerment, accountability, and trust. Their mission? To focus as a seamless extension of their clients' teams and go beyond their expectations for what an agency can do. Congratulations to One Milk, Two Sugars. Vice President and Partner at One Milk, Two Sugars. We're a creative communications and digital marketing agency with offices in Toronto and Montreal. And today I am beyond thrilled to accept this award 
on behalf of Priya Chopra, our founder, and the entire team of Incredible Sugars that works so hard every day. And congratulations to all of you. If you entered, it means that you managed to survive and thrive over the last few years, and that's no small feat. We continue to be inspired by the amazing work that you do, and we are so grateful to be a part of the Canadian SME community. Thank you very much for this award. The next award recipient is Quill Inc. Quill is a full service podcast agency that makes it easy for brands and publishers to create, launch, and grow successful podcasts. Quill has made entry into podcasting more streamlined and has become the go-to platform for help throughout a podcaster's journey. Congratulations to Quill Inc. Fatima Zaidi, the founder and CEO of Quill. We are a full service podcast production company and hosting tech platform for professional podcasters. We are thrilled to have won the Canadian SME Small Business Award this year and are so proud of our team for everything we've been able to accomplish. We have navigated two pandemic years and come out the other side. And while raising capital is impressive, there's something to be said about bootstrapping a technology company that requires resilience and hustle. Thank you again to the team at Canadians Me for giving us this recognition. We're so incredibly grateful and proud. Our third and final award recipient is Arthur Learning Inc. Arthur is an award-winning digital learning design, development, and consulting company providing high-quality, learner-centric e-learning courses and content. Their purpose is to create meaning through design. Their mission is to build learning strategies that blend technology and design with engaging content. Congratulations to Artha Learning Inc. Thank you, Canadian SME Business Magazine for this amazing award for Artha Learning. My team and I are honored to be recognized for the passion and commitment to the e-learning industry, building immersive and effective content for our clients. My sincere thanks to the judges who selected us and honored our business with this prestigious award. I also want to thank our clients for trusting and working with us. We are today at over 90% client retention rate. We are in the content industry. Thank you for taking the journey with us. And of course, this award goes out to the entire Artha team for their hard work and their dedication in pushing the boundaries of what digital learning can be. In five short, but really busy years, we have become a significant player in the e-learning content space. This award is not only a testament to the amazing work Artha has done, but it goes to show to all the budding entrepreneurs out there that you don't have to be an industry insider or a heavily funded company to do good, honest work and be recognized for it. And truly, it is also a testament to what one can do in this great country. We have big plans. I can't wait to see Artha become a major player in the Canadian and international e-learning space. And today, this day will always remain a major milestone in our path. Thank you again. Once again, congratulations to all the winners on this recognition and for demonstrating leadership, innovation, and growth throughout this rough time. And thank you, UPS, for supporting all these businesses through this time frame. The next award is for the small business for 100 and plus employees. It's a company that has demonstrated throughout the year, again, leadership, innovation, the same principles of growth in profit and human capital. They've demonstrated a solid business direction and vision. And the judges also considered peer recognition, innovative business approaches for this award. Here are the finalists for this category. And of course, we'll begin with the answer company, Dig Insights. Fresh 
Prep, Alta Pro Electric, and Marlin Spring. I'm very delighted to announce the top three winners. All right, our first winner for this category is the Answer Company. Congratulations to you. As a top value reseller, VAR, for Sage and Acumatica ERP. The Answer Company designs solutions for businesses based around a Sage or an Acumatica solution. When needed, their team also designs custom integrations and implements changes to existing modules in software. The Answer Company is honored to be recognized as the Canadian SME Business of the Year for 100 employees or greater. This is particularly rewarding as last year we were honored uh, in the spot uh, for under 100 employees. And we've been super excited to be experiencing great growth uh, across, across Canada. As uh, the number one business, we're particularly uh, honored uh, that our, our customers can recognize the excellence that we bring to supporting their businesses as they look to adopt technology and digitally transform their accounting, ERP, and other areas of their business. We couldn't do this without our team at the answer company. We take a people first approach that really recognizes that happy employees equals happy customers. And these are the things that we really want to honor and, uh, and recognize uh, that contribution. So thank you to members of the answer company and thank you to the Canadian SME national uh, magazine for that recognition. Our second winner for this category is Dig Insights. They believe that insights lead industries to ask better questions to deliver stronger solutions. That's why they created Dig back in 2010. Hi, I'm Paul Gaudet, CEO of Dig Insights an insights and innovation company based in Toronto. And I'm extremely honored to accept this award of Small Business of the Year on behalf of our entire team at Dig Insights. This award is a great way to recognize the amazing work and the dedication of our entire staff. And I, along with my business partners, I'm extremely proud of the company that we've built, the culture that we have, and the work that we do. Not only do we have a great team, but we get to work with some of the biggest and best brands in the world. And together, our, our team and our clients have really made winning this award even possible. So I'd like to thank all of them for their support and trust along this journey. And I can't wait to see what comes next. Thank you very much. And our third winner in this category is Fresh Prep. At Fresh Prep, they believe good things come in sustainable packages. They make amazing meal kits that are eco-friendly without sacrificing quality or taste. Now, if you're listening, make sure you get my home address. I'd love to have a box and test you guys out. On behalf of Fresh Prep, I'd like to express our gratitude for this recognition. The team at Fresh Prep has worked incredibly hard over the last several years to deliver on our mission of simplifying complex food challenges through creative innovation. Thanks to our team's hard work, we had a very successful 2021 in which we launched the industry's first ever zero waste meal kit after several years of research and development. We also expanded into Alberta, which was Fresh Prep's first ever foray outside of our home province and has seen great success. We're excited to continue to grow and innovate and become Canada's most sustainable meal kit. Thank you again to the Canadian SME Business Awards for this recognition. We really appreciate it. Once again, congratulations to all the winners for this category, for having innovation at the forefront of their minds as they continue to build out their business. <laughs> Our next award 
is the Excellence in Data Privacy and Security, sponsored by Alexio. This award is presented to the business who demonstrated that they have a formal privacy officer, have written policies in place, they've implemented proper network security measures, and invest in security awareness training. Those are the factors that judges considered when selecting a winner in this category. And tonight, the finalists are Capstone Industrial Training Solutions Canada, Quill, 2H Media, and Meowbox. Please join me in welcoming Anne Gensch, co-founder of the Alexio Corporation for presenting this award. Welcome, Anne. Good evening, I'm Ann Genge from Alexio Corporation. We are very excited to be a sponsor again this year for the Canadian SME National Business Awards. As one of Canada's leading cybersecurity firms, we know how challenging it is for small businesses to keep customer data safe. When we read the nomination form for this year's winner, we were very impressed. Congratulations to Capstone Industrial Training Solutions for winning the Excellence in Data Privacy and Security Award. Keep blazing. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alex Temuri, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Capstone Industrial Training Solutions. It's truly an honor to be the recipient of this award in data privacy and security. And it's truly a testament of our team's hard work and dedication that they've placed into this over the years. Uh, just a little bit about us. We're a full service training company servicing the global energy sector. It's our mission to provide a, uh, and build a more skilled, safer and confident workforce in the energy sector. This also, this obviously involves, um, data security as we are a remote first company servicing uh, large energy companies who trust us with their, with their sensitive company data. And it's our responsibility and duty to protect this data. But not only that, I believe we also thrive in this environment and also are a leader um, and stay on top of all these changes that happen uh, quite frequently in this environment. I'd like to thank the team particularly Gio Borsier, our director of IT and data management, who's been the champion of this initiative, and to all the team members for keeping uh, this culture and adhering to our policies day in and day out. I know it's not easy, but it's amazing to be recognized for such an award. I'd like to thank the Canadian SME Small Business Magazine for this recognition and uh, this opportunity, and we're truly grateful. I want to wish everyone a great evening and thank you very much. Congratulations to Capstone International Training Solutions Canada for this award and for enacting data privacy and security measures to ensure business success and sustainability. And thank you to Alexio Corporation for your continued support in educating customers and clients in the ways of better security. The next category is for the exporter of the year. It's an entrepreneur who has expanded internationally and initiated trades and partnerships overseas. They are the ones being considered for an exporter of the year. Among the criteria the judges will consider is they've demonstrated knowledge in international markets and strategies. They've overcome challenges that you face in global expansion and they use technology to get to the other side. Tonight, we have five finalists for this category as well, and we want to congratulate all of them. The first being Incas, Armored Vehicle Manufacturing, Smile CDR, Kid Bros and Western, Sage Honey, North Spirits Incorporated, and Education Consultants Canada ECC. And now, the winner for the Exporter of the Year is Incas Armored Vehicle Manufacturing. Congratulations. They've been producing bulletproof vehicles for almost 20 years. During this period, they've constantly been adapting their approach to armoring vehicles through newer technologies.
Incus is honored to be named Exporter of the Year. We're proud to say that we generate the vast majority of our revenue from export initiatives, which enable us to support the Canadian economy by creating new jobs and investing here, locally, within our community. Serving the international market is at the core of our business model, and we're honored to be recognized for our achievements in international trade. For over 25 years, we've been dedicated to innovation within our field to help protect individuals whose lives are at risk due to the nature of their work or the regions where they live. We pride ourselves on our precision engineering and industry leading security features, and we're humbled that governments, law enforcement agencies, and individuals the world over entrust us with their lives. Global demand continues to be the driving force behind Incus's year-over-year -year growth. So I hope to inspire other Canadian entrepreneurs and wish you find success in the endless opportunities that lay beyond our borders. Thank you. Once again, congratulations for overcoming the challenges to global expansion to ensure your business survivability. And now the next award, is the MyTax Best Business Innovation for 2021. This award is given to the company that has implemented their strategies and products that signify outside of the box thinking. The judges are looking for businesses that have defied conservative ways of thinking in its business strategy and it's evident in the fruit of the results that they have shown. Tonight, here are the finalists in this category. We want to honor and acknowledge properly MEA Health Corporation, Dig Insights, Smile CDR, and Work Tango. This award will be presented by Anne Marie Thompson, Chief Programs and Policy Officer at MyTax. Welcome, Anne Marie. Hello, everyone. My name is Anne Marie Thompson, and I am the Chief Programs and Policy Officer at MyTax. At MyTax, we bring together businesses and the post-secondary sector to solve challenges, foster innovation, and improve Canada's productivity. Small and medium-sized businesses are the backbone of our country's economy, employing more than 10 million Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Since 2016, MyTax has been proud to partner with more than 5,000 SMEs across the country, helping them to reach their business goals. During the uncertain economic period caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic, we partnered with SMEs to help them pivot and adapt to an uncertain climate, including by building partnerships with thousands of SMEs who had never worked with MyTax before. As we settle into a period of economic recovery, MyTax will continue to support Canada's SMEs, helping them to grow and thrive and ensuring a brighter, more prosperous future. Without further ado, I would now like to present this year's Canadian SME Award for Best Business Innovation to Properly. Properly is a real estate brokerage reimagining the buying and selling process in a new way, enabled by technology and providing unique first to market service offerings in the Greater Toronto Area, Vancouver and the Fraser Valley. The company and its founder, Anshul Ruparil, have big plans for the future. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I am looking forward to seeing what's next for you. Congratulations once again on your award. On behalf of the entire team at Properly, thank you Canadian SME for this recognition. I'm so proud of the work that we're doing at Properly, as we hope to support Canadians while they navigate one of the largest financial and emotional transactions of their lives buying or selling a home. We know that the traditional real estate process in Canada can be stressful, and that's why we're on a mission to reimagine real estate, to leverage the best of both what technology and people can deliver. The innovative tools and services that we've built over the last couple of years are the product of hard work, of grounding ourselves in our customers' reality, and of our shared passion for making real estate customer-centric. We know that the foundations that we're building today will allow us to innovate more effectively in the long term. We know that innovation's best work is never done. It's an exciting time at Properly, and we're really excited for what's to come. And we are thrilled to be a member of Canada's growing innovation economy. Thank you again for this award.
And congratulations to Properly for thinking outside of the box and using your innovation to expand the box and the business model. And thank you to MyTax for supporting this award. This next award is presented by Nerds On Site for the Business Woman of the Year. This award is sponsored by Nerds On Site and is given to a woman who has shown success in their industry. Strength, business savvy, and innovation are their hallmarks baked into how they operate their business and are the aspects the judges were considering for this award. The woman will take home the the person who will take home this award for the Businesswoman of the Year will be an inspiration for other female entrepreneurs to follow. Tonight, we have five finalists for this category. Robin, Robin Woods, founder of the Uncomplicated Family Tough Corporate Group. Taya Debat, founder of Taylin Business Solutions. Andrea Seisham, founder of Her Digital Academy. Kimberly Van Rin, founder of Branching Out Supported Services and Kendall Ansel, founder of Bell Construction Incorporated. Please join me in welcoming Charlie Reagan, CEO of Nerds On Site, as he announces the winner. A year or two ago, a McKinsey report concluded that if we truly work towards equality between men and women in the marketplace, that women alone could add 12 to $28 trillion to the global economy. Imagine. That's possibly bigger than the U.S. and Chinese economies combined. Not only do women make 70 to 80% of the important household decisions worldwide, because they're smarter, I contend, but they create entirely new industries with their firsthand knowledge of what other women face. And they solve problems faced not just by that half of the world's population, but by all of the world's population. Essential in building the road to this better world is education and training. And this is why we're celebrating this remarkable professional today. Hi. I'm Charlie Regan with Nerds on Site, and we're proud to sponsor the Canadian SME Woman Entrepreneur of the Year Award. As many others do, I have always believed that in the face of adversity, true champion character shines. Our winner paved her road out of then war-torn Yugoslavia with education and training. She championed. More importantly, through her focused empowerment efforts at the firm she co-founded, her Digital Academy, graduates from around the world build freer, more rewarding lives for themselves, those they love, and the communities and countries they enterprise in. Gracious enterprise creators gathered here, please help me congratulate this year's Canadian SME Woman Entrepreneur of the Year, Andrea Sesam, co-founder of Her Digital Academy. Congratulations, Andrea. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Sesam, founder of Her Digital Academy. We're a social global impact school for women, providing them with the skills knowledge and confidence to excel in a world of tech. I founded Her Digital Academy because I wanted to do something meaningful. And I'm passionate about education and how it can be life-changing in the face of adversity. Our goal is to continue to empower women through our immersive boot camps and provide them access to community and career support. We will continue to educate and support them in becoming equal creators in their future. And although Her Digital Academy, we're a global team, we're strongly rooted in Toronto, Canada. It feels really amazing to be acknowledged uh, for all the hard work we do as entrepreneurs, and we often think is not even seen. 
but I guess someone is always watching. So, Nerds on Sight, thank you so much for an initiative you take each year in recognizing women entrepreneurs in Canada. It's truly humbling to be recognized by the peers and the incredible entrepreneurial team behind the Canadian SME Awards. Congratulations to all the nominees and all the winners this year of the 2021 Canadian SME Awards. And congrats to Andrea Seesham for showing success and strength in her industry. And once again, thank you to Charlie and the team at Nerds On Site. This next award is the KPMG Entrepreneur of the Year Award. The most honorable and prestigious award for any entrepreneur is given to the individual who has demonstrated excellence in the following categories. Innovation, established a great business plan and model and is propagating their brand successfully. They have shown leadership, personal growth, ambition, vision for the future, and has been making a positive impact in the interim and clearly has a plan to make a positive impact in the long term. Tonight, we've whittled down all of our nine Tonight, we've whittled down all of our nominees to five finalists in this category, and we want to celebrate, starting with Ashwin Kuti, CEO of We Us Them, Laura Lee Sheehan, founder of Digital 55, Arti Modi, co-founder of Consumer Genius, Shelby Taylor, founder and CEO of Chicopee, and Brian Joskaska, CEO CMI Canadian Mortgages. Please join me in welcoming Mary Jo Fetty, national leader of KPMG Enterprise in Canada to present this award. My name is Mary Jo Fady, and it is my pleasure to be here today on behalf of KPMG Enterprise to present the Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Canadian SME Small Business Awards. KPMG Enterprise is pleased to team with Canadian SME to recognize Canada's small businesses and their achievements. As KPMG's national enterprise leader, every day I get to work with inspiring entrepreneurs, dynamic family businesses, and fast-growing companies with our tax, audit, law, and advisory services. The most rewarding part of my role is supporting and watching these businesses and business leaders grow, evolve, and succeed. That is why we are proud to collaborate with Canadian SME as they support, encourage, and help the country's best and brightest small business leaders achieve success. Today, I am honored to present the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. This award recognizes entrepreneurs and leaders of organizations who have demonstrated excellence in every facet of their business, in areas such as innovation, sales, marketing, and advertising. They have a track record of growth, profitability, and industry leadership. They have also generated a high degree of economic growth and possess the drive, managerial acumen, and leadership traits that others aspire to have. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The winner of the Entrepreneur of the Year Award is Brian Jeskolka of Canadian Mortgages, Inc. Congratulations, Brian. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. I'm Brian Jaskolka, CEO and founder of the CMI Financial Group, Canada's premier private lender. I'm deeply honored and extremely humbled to receive this honor. Like so many entrepreneurs, my path has been unconventional. To me, this award reinforces that there are many roads to success, and sometimes you just have to pave your own. I started CMI as a two-person brokerage in my parents' basement. My founding vision was to provide disadvantaged borrowers with access to financing in a professional, fair, ethical, and courteous manner. And today it's been the driving force behind CMI's success, but I certainly didn't do it alone. The strength of the team behind me is how CMI has grown to become Canada's largest private lender by originations with over a hundred employees and over a billion dollars in mortgage fundings. My sincerest thanks goes out to the passionate and talented CMI team to your tenacity, commitment, and relentless dedication. Together, we've made private financing not only more accessible and transparent, but opened the mortgage investment market to a wider range of investors as well. To our dedicated mortgage broker and investor partners, thank you. 
We appreciate and applaud your loyalty, trust, and unwavering support. Because of you, CMI will ensure private lending continues to fill a critical gap in both the lending and investment communities. And thank you a million times over to my family. Without you, this would not be possible. Congratulations to my fellow Entrepreneur of the Year nominees and all of today's nominees and recipients. And thank you to the Canadian SME Awards Committee and organizers for providing this important platform to recognize the vital contributions of small business to Canada's economy. While the past two years have been unbelievably challenging, the achievements recognized today are a testament to the resilience and entrepreneurial spirit of the Canadian small business community and their incredible employee teams. You've always been champions and now you are heroes. I tip my hat to all of you. Thank you. Congratulations to Brian Jaskalka. You're an inspiration to other entrepreneurs through your strengths and inspiration. Thank you, Mary, for your time and for presenting this award. The next award is for the HP Black Entrepreneur of the Year Award. It goes to the entrepreneur that has paved a way through their hard work and dedication to their craft. Minorities of all kinds face many hardships and struggles, and we want to celebrate their overcoming achievements. Whether it's logistics, tech, retail, or finance, this entrepreneur shows why you should never give up on your goals and dreams. And it's to highlight this individual's achievement and their immense contribution to the Canadian economy. And for the HP Black Entrepreneur of the Year Award, here are the finalists. Marcia Lisa Dennis, founder of Lisa's Holistic Rehab and Neurofeedback. Denisha Stevenson, founder of Glorious Routine. Tobias Q. Brown, founder of Tommy's Jerk. Now that sounds like a place I'll be visiting. Moniz Morenzi, founder of Midtown's Tiny Tots. And Andrew Hunter, founder of Huntera Real, Real Estate Brokerage. Please join me in welcoming Marianne Ewell, President and CEO of HP Canada to present this award. Hello, I'm Marianne Ewell, President and CEO of HP Canada. I am so excited to be here with you today at the Canadian SME Small Business Awards, celebrating you, our Canadian entrepreneurs. As many of you probably know, HP has very humble beginnings as an early startup in a garage in Palo Alto. We never forget where we came from and the incredible contributions that small and medium-sized businesses have on our economy, especially in Canada. Thank you for your contributions and the incredible work you do every day. HP is pushing the boundaries of technology, delivering life-enriching, world-changing innovations at every turn. And we believe that the ultimate driver of our success has been and will always be the power of our people. Our diverse, inclusive, global community of employees is our greatest asset and what truly differentiates HP in the marketplace. That's why I'm thrilled to announce the Black Entrepreneur of the Year Award. Our winner this year has made tremendous contributions, both as a holistic health practitioner and community volunteer. Through their rehab and neurofeedback practice, this person has changed the lives of those suffering from challenges ranging from ADHD, depression, anxiety, PTSD, autism, sensory processing disorder, and other brain-based disorders. They also mentor Indigenous and Black youth in their community and lecture on mental health. Our winner serves as a source of inspiration and beacon of hope. Without further ado, I am proud to present the Black Entrepreneur of the Year Award to Lisa Dennis. Congratulations, Lisa. Thank you so much to the Canadian SME for this category and for recognizing me as a Black entrepreneur worthy of this honor. It's very common for Black people that we are invisible, we're not seen, uh, unless something bad happens. But uh, tonight, I'm so proud that I can help people see help people see black people in a positive light. Um, I've been working hard my business for a number of years now. Proud Montrealer and former military spouse moved around a lot and now landed here in Nova Scotia and had to really make a go and start all over from scratch. And I've been building my business for a number of years now. 
and uh, it's definitely had its challenges. Um, I've also struggled with my own difficulties with brain-based disorders like anxiety, depression, tons of concussions, poor attention, and I realized that we're not stuck with the brain that we have. We can uh, get a stronger brain and we can live a, a productive life. It's no different than saying if you have a broken leg, you got to use a crutch for the rest of your life. We need to talk about the brain more and more like this as well. So here at Lisa's Holistic Rehab and Neurofeedback, we're doing just that. We're using cutting edge technology to help people of all ages overcome their symptoms of poor attention, trauma, um, anxiety, depression, sensory issues, um, you know, reading difficulties, concussions, and uh, even poor balance and walking. So we're using cutting edge technology to help with that so that people can get back doing the stuff that they love to do and um, can live to their full potential. We're also now offering workshops to help parents and teachers help kids meet their developmental milestones so they don't end up with learning difficulties later on. And I'm also working on a racism rehabilitation um, workshop that's helping teachers recognize the bias um, so that little black boys, little black girls, and Aboriginal children for that matter, don't end up on the school to prison pipeline. So I'm ecstatic, working hard, and uh, changing lives one brand at a time. So thank you so much. A big hearty congratulations to you, Marcia, for your hard work and dedication, it's paid off. And a big thank you to HP and Marianne Yule for presenting this award. This award recognizes those who have proven time again that customer service is their top priority. Businesses that implement procedures and methods that put customers at the top of their daily operations are considered for this award and is one of the main factors the judges were considering. Businesses of all industries were eligible in this category. And, and here are the finalists for this category. Meow Box. Your Sentimental Creations, Atlantic Standard HVAC, Voltra Asset Management, and Peninsula Canada. Please join me in welcoming Mickey Valiramich, Growth and Marketing Executive, to present this award. My name is Mickey Valiramich, and I'm President and Principal of 1919 Strategy Group a B2B marketing consultancy and advisory. I'm honored to be judging the Canadian SME Small Business Awards this year. These awards are designed to celebrate the contributions that small businesses make to Canada's economy and communities coast to coast. And this year, there were so many incredible stories of resilience, creativity, and triumph. I'm delighted to present the winner of the Customer Service Excellence Award. This award is given to a small business that has proven time and time again that customer service and customer experience are their top priority. So without further ado, the award goes to Meowbox. Congratulations! Meowbox is the original subscription box for cats, shipping adorably themed cat toys and delicious treats to your door. And through their One Box Can program, Meowbox donates a percentage of every purchase to help feed a shelter kitty each month. And Meowbox's approach to customer service has always been very simple. They treat customers like they would treat their friends. Simple, yet powerful. So to everyone at Meowbox, congratulations on winning the Customer Service Excellence Award. Hi, I'm Olivia, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Meowbox. And uh, on behalf of my team and myself, I wanted to say thank you so much for choosing Meowbox to be the recipient of the Customer Service Excellence Award. Um, customer service since day one has been extremely important to us, being able to provide a memorable experience and taking care of our community and our customers like they're our friends. So um, receiving this award is super exciting and it's just so great to receive the recognition for an area of our business that is just so paramount. So thank you again um, from myself and the team here at Meowbox. And once again, congratulations to you Meowbox for making customer service your top Priority. And now, the next award is the GoDaddy Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award, presented to the person who has demonstrated innovation beyond expectation. 
It's for the one who's fixing and solving problems that we don't even know exist. They're opportunity grabbers. Their dynamic responses are demonstrated through their passion and progress that they've made by inspiring other business owners as well. Tonight, we have five finalists for this category. We want to, con we want to congratulate our five finalists in this category. Christine Liu, CEO of CL Designs. Pat Chaesong, founder of Isom Power. Alex McLean, founder and CEO of East Coast Lifestyle. Ivy Chen, founder of Simiao Chan Mao. Sierra Latham, CEO of Bakery Dog Treats. Please join me in welcoming Anne DeArrigan, VP and Country Manager at GoDaddy Canada to present this award. Good evening. It is with great pleasure that I join you this evening to present the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award on behalf of GoDaddy Canada. Having worked with small businesses for most of my career, I recognize that the importance of young entrepreneurs cannot be understated. Young small business owners are advancing the Canadian economy in ways we could have never imagined. As a judge for this year's Canadian SME Small Business Awards, I can tell you that the nominees were some of the most inspiring and hardworking small business owners that I've ever seen, and it was very hard to make a decision. However, in the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award category, one person did stand out for the remarkable journey. This individual began their business journey while still in university, where their only goal originally had been to get good grades. However, since its inception in 2013, with only an $800 investment from their father, this brand has grown to 24 employees, selling over one and a half million products in 260 stores across North America. And not only is this young entrepreneur growing a successful business, they're also giving back to their community, having donated almost $300,000 to families affected by the Nova Scotia tragedy and over $50,000 to a local youth shelter. What started as a small town apparel business has now evolved into a global brand with the introduction of an alcohol business, chip business, and podcast. This young entrepreneur is breaking down barriers and putting the East Coast on the map. It is my absolute pleasure to announce the winner of the Canadian SME Small Business Award recipient for Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Alexander McLean of East Coast Lifestyle. And before I part with you this evening, I want to leave our small business owners with one last piece of advice, and that is to trust yourself and know that if you make up your mind to start your own entrepreneurial journey, you can make your dream a reality. Once again, my name is Anne Aragon, and I'm Vice President and Country Manager for GoDaddy Canada. GoDaddy is the place people come to name their idea, build a professional website, attract customers, and manage their work. Our mission is to give customers the tools, insights, and guidance to transform their ideas and personal initiatives into success. Websites are essential to growing your business and GoDaddy is proud to support and empower Canadian entrepreneurs. Thank you and congratulations again to all of tonight's nominees and award recipients. How's it going everyone? Just want to say a big thank you to the Canadian SME team for awarding me with the Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award. I'm honored to receive this award. I want to say a huge thank you to my hardworking team. It's been an amazing journey with East Coast Lifestyle so far and I'm very excited to see what the future has in store. I'd like to say a few words to the young entrepreneurs out there that are listening. Be sure to follow your passion and start businesses in your spare time. Don't be afraid to fail and learn from your mistakes. Network and make as many connections as possible while you're in school. Also, use social media to connect with people and build your brand or business online. Work hard and dream big. Anything is possible with hard work and dedication. Set goals and work towards them one step at a time. Thank you again to the Canadian SME team. I really appreciate the award. The next award is for the Indigenous Entrepreneur of the Year. The Indigenous community, of course, is a crucial part of our overall economy, and it's our responsibility to provide everyone, including them, with the resources required to contribute to their success. Now, we at Canadian SME understand how important it is to provide an outlet for these companies who deserve much recognition, just as much as any other business out there. And as we're all currently facing challenges, we want to recognize Indigenous businesses that have pushed through and continue to serve the overall community. 
And now the finalists for this category. We begin with Carrie Gray, founder of Shades of Gray Indigenous Pet Treats. Hawkling Lawton, founder of Simply Indigenous. Mr. Bannock, founder of, you got it, Mr. Bannock. Darian Kovacs, founder of Jelly Marketing and PR. And Diana Frost, founder of Coloring It Forward. And now, I'm extremely delighted to announce Carrie Gray, founder of Shades of Grey Indigenous Pet Treats, as the winner of this category. Congratulations, Carrie. I am humbled and honored that we have been chosen for the Canadian SME Small Business Award. Being selected for this year's Indigenous Entrepreneur of the Year Award is such an honor. Recognition from the Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021 is so rewarding for our team. A wonderful accomplishment embracing all of our hard work. I'd like to thank my husband, kids, mother, family and the support we've had while building this business. At Shades of Green Indigenous Pet Treats, our goal is to produce quality pet treats for pet owners wanting healthy treats that focus on animal health and wellness. We're a growing business providing eco-friendly products. Our team is working hard at producing a work environment that uses everyone's natural abilities to grow and excel together. Going from mom to farmer to entrepreneur, I've challenged myself, my family and team, and together we're building a strong business foundation that has allowed us to execute our vision. Our company is built on family, culture, history, and the love of animals. Chi miigwech. Awarded to the company that has demonstrated beyond innovation the ability to educate financially, marrying it to the right technologies for a better user experience. Judges evaluated how they leverage technology to deliver better financial service experience to consumers. Tonight, we have five finalists for this category, and we want to congratulate Zen Insurance. One Wealth Technologies, MindBridge AI, Surex, and Simply Group. Please join me in welcoming Shannon Lewis. She, of course, is the president of the Canadian Media Directors Council, and she will be presenting this award. Welcome, Shannon. Shannon Lewis, and I'm the president of the Canadian Media Directors Council. I'm absolutely delighted to be here with you today and present the award for FinTech Business of the Year. This award really celebrates a company that's fueled with innovation, accelerating digital and digital transformation, and creating positive change in the industry and their community. And the winner is Zensurance. Congratulations. Now, Zensurance shifts the traditional insurance industry into the 21st century. The team called themselves Daring with exponential growth, starting as a small fintech company of only five and building it to 200 talented employees in only five years. Impressive. Now, success for them was built on technology, culture, and talent. Their mission is really to create a digital experience that is affordable, transparent and fast. Now beyond the biz business, during the pandemic, the company created meaningful change to their local community by raising funds for the Princess Margaret Foundation and Hospital, also involved in scholarships at Humber College, to DEI initiatives, to actually giving back, coaching their time with youth at risk. I just wanna say personally, congratulations to Zen Insurance, the company, and the leadership, you're truly shining for 2022. Congratulations. Way to go, Zen Insurance. This award recognizes your hard work and dedication to building a successful technology startup. And now, the Startup Business of the Year. This award recognizes companies that have demonstrated significant promise and potential in their business plan and strategies. They have shown how their business can scale and they have launched despite the conditions we have faced in the market over the past couple of years. 
evidence of their success is demonstrated through profitability and growth. Once again, we've whittled it down to five finalists, and we want to congratulate them all. The first being Delphi Technology Corporation, Tradable Bits Media Incorporated, Sheer Simple Labs, Noibu Technologies, and Frontier Dental Supply. And now, the award for Startup Business of the Year. I'm very delighted to announce Delphi Technology as the Startup Business of the Year 2021. Congratulations to the team at Delphi Technology. Hi, good evening, everyone. I am Alan Tay, the co-founder of Delphi Technology. On behalf of the team at Delphi, we would like to thank Canadian SME Business Magazine for organizing the 2021 National Business Award. The team greatly appreciates the support and recognition that this award provides. I clearly remember two years ago in 2020 when Delphi is first formed. The vision is to provide accessible quality training for everyone inclusively. Delphi, along the way right now, has a team members of about 20 of us. I would like to thank the team who believe in me and the vision and is working hard alongside with me to make this a reality. The team at Delphi also would like to thank the judging banner for recognizing the passion and creativity for this innovation to happen. This innovation is now on track to become the world first training metaverse. So for all the youth out there, feel free to visit us at vrcity.ca and don't be shy to sign up for the tour of the world first training metaverse. Look forward to seeing you in the metaverse. And thank you everyone for recognizing us. Have a nice day. This next award is for the most on This next award is for the most inspirational leader of the year. This award recognizes the entrepreneur that has demonstrated leadership for themselves, others and their peers. It's through their strong leadership skills, their innovation and in management that brings about the true entrepreneurial spirit. The winner of this award is an inspiration to also their fellow entrepreneurs. Judges were looking for someone who balances leadership and successful management. The judges were looking for an entrepreneur who balances both leadership and management. In this category, we once again have five finalists. We begin with Face Gibson, Founder of the Personal Development School, Vithusa Iliganathan, founder of Opto Lunetary and Clinique, Margarita Simkin, founder of Incus, Edward Anasa, founder of Humble Beginning Stories, and Brian Jaskoka, founder of CMI Canadian Mortgages. Please join me in welcoming our friend Peter Drummond, co founder of PSD Plus G Strategy Group and 32 Degree Ventures to announce the winner. Welcome, Peter. Hello, I'm Peter Drummond, founder of psd g Strategy Group Toronto and adjunct professor of business at the Smith School of Business, Queen's University, Kingston. I'm here today to present the award for Inspirational Leader of the Year 2021. May I have the envelope, please? Thank you. Let's open this up. And the winner of the 2021 Inspirational Leader of the Year category is, drum roll, Margarita Simkin, co-founder and chairwoman of Incus Group of Companies based here in the GTA area. Maria, congratulations on the achievement and the award. Outstanding accomplishment. Listen, when I read the story and submission from uh, Margarita's organization, uh, it was such a great story. She founded the Incas group of companies well over 25 years ago as a new immigrant here to Canada. Incas group of companies is an integrated and global security solutions provider for retailers, government agencies, financial institutions, and provides the solutions to clients all around the world. They have about 350 employees uh, spread out through the globe. Partly from her background, 
and where she came from, Margarita has a deep sense of duty to protect both individuals and assets and the valuable information of those two parties. She has been a pioneer to create new technologies that really haven't existed before in the past and disrupt the space, creating more sustainable, higher quality and leading edge solutions to protect both people and uh, assets. Inca's group has always pushes the organization to exceed industry standards and go way beyond to stretch, making it more secure, more private. Marca, Margarita, sorry about that, has been pivotal to building Incas into a global brand renowned for disruptive for the disruptive industry, leading innovation, can, and continuously demonstrating new products, new solutions, and breaking new grounds with new markets and new segments. As a woman in a male-dominated category, she's played an integral role in building many risk management businesses from scratch and exceeding the expectations of those organizations and categories as well. Always with a mindset and attitude to propel women into leadership positions. Margarita is also co-founder of Kazansky Foundation, a not-for-profit dedicated to supporting forward thinkers, forward thinkers solving tomorrow's challenges. While Margarita has built a global empire, it all started from humble beginnings. She understands the importance and contribution of small and medium enterprises and startups to our Canadian economy, as well as the global marketplace. She thrives on mentoring students of SMEs or startups and helping them grow and exceed their dreams. Most recently, Margarita started Incas Innovation Center here in Toronto to solve problems for tomorrow's thinkers, uh, to solve the problems of tomorrow. Q4, it is planned to open up. As an immigrant to our country, Margarita completely understands diversity, inclusiveness, and equity. It's in core to her belief, core to her personal life, and core to how she treats everybody she interacts with. Margarita, what an amazing story. You're a true inspiration to me, to the judges, to the people here in the room tonight, to your business colleagues, your employees, and to your shareholders. We need more people like you, Margarita. Cheers, congratulations on winning this award, and best of luck in the future. to be named Inspirational Leader of the Year. My husband and I started our company over 25 years ago with a single armored career truck. Today, we operate many companies across various industries that have grown into global leaders in their respective fields. As a woman in a male-dominated industry, I'm no stranger to the obstacles that many business owners face. So I want to encourage business owners that you can overcome adversity challenges, even in the toughest circumstances. The world is constantly involved, hopefully for the better, of course. We must be willing to pivot in order to build sustainable businesses that can withstand the test of time. I know we've all faced challenges in the past few years, and my company certainly has been no exception. But with perseverance, anything is possible. Thank you. Margarita, way to go for being an inspiration to Canadian entrepreneurs across the country. And now, the Zoho Digital and E-Commerce Business of the Year Award, given to the person and business who has successfully demonstrated their ability to launch an online business, but also provides their consumers with an outstanding experience. We wanna recognize innovation, increase in financial performance, and the effective use of e-commerce tools available to all of us. This year, the Digital and E-Commerce Business of the Year Award also has five finalists. Seeing a pattern here. The first one is surex.com. SEO Plus, Optimize Web Media Marketing, Gift of Feeling Inc., Brandish Agency. 
we would like to welcome Sai Bhavarthan Kumar, Business Development Executive of Zoho Corporation, to announce the winner of this category. Good evening. On behalf of Zoho, I am happy to present the Digital and E-Commerce Business of the Year Award to SEO+. Plus. Given their obvious talents and shared interest in technology, it's not surprising that Eddie and Brock have turned SEO Plus into an award-winning digital marketing company. What stands out to me is how this company has contributed directly to the well-being and growth of Canadian business community and the many hundreds of people working in it. That's always been the goal at Zoho as well, to support businesses and enrich the lives of employees, whether our own or those of our customers. In 10 short years, SEO Plus has done just that, helping over 600 Canadian businesses grow, thereby improving the lives of people and communities those businesses serve. This is truly something to celebrate and so to Eddie and Brock and everyone at SEO Plus, congratulations on this honor and wishing you the very best. Good evening, I'm Brock Murray, I'm the co-founder of SEO Plus. Just wanted to say thank you so much for this award. It's uh, quite an honor just to be named along these other finalists and award winners. So thank you so much to Canadian SME for this uh, amazing opportunity. Uh, I'd love to say thank you to our team, thank you to our clients. Uh, the last couple of years has been very challenging uh, and challenging across you know multiple industries, but are specifically dealing with you know the high volume and, and you know pivots in business and things of that sort. So we're just uh, you know honored to have the opportunity to help our clients and, and help our team. Uh, so thank you very much for this recognition and uh, wishing everybody all the best. Take care. Congrats to the team at SEO Plus. Great job in your work and accomplishments. Thank you so much, Sai and Zoho, for your support in this category. Now for a critical award category, the best team of the year. You see, of course, behind every successful entrepreneur is a strong team of employees who co-labor with the owners and entrepreneurs to make success a reality. It's their passion and their work that make it possible for the leaders of their companies to continue to meet their goals and to ensure results are achieved. Judges were looking for a team of passionate, innovative, and result-driven organization. Tonight, here are the finalists for this category. Fox Flight Ambulance. Canadian Mortgages, Inc., The Uncomplicated Family, Carmela Marketing, and Star Quality Private Investigations. Please join me in welcoming Michelle Eaton, Vice President of Public Affairs at the Ontario Chamber of Commerce to announce the winner. Congratulations to Fox Flight Air Ambulance for being named Canadian SME's Best Team of the Year. Today, Fox and the team Thank you for all that you've done for the industry, for building a strong culture in all that you do every day. Our hats off to you. Hearty congratulations. David Fox, President of Fox Flight Air Ambulance. We specialize in getting sick and injured travelers home safely from wherever they are in the world. It is our honor, the entire Fox Flight Air Ambulance team, to be recognized by Canadian SME Magazine as Best Team of the Year 2021. From the COVID pandemic caused dangerous overcrowding in hospital ICUs in some major cities in Canada, 
our team was asked to step in and help relieve the pressure by moving COVID positive ICU patients to hospitals and other provinces. Every member of our team was essential in getting this job done, sometimes working long hours in remote locations. We moved more than 130 COVID positive ICU patients in 2021. I'm convinced that due to our efforts, many more lives were saved. As a small business, getting an award for the National Voice of Small Business in Canada is especially gratifying. This 2022 happened to be our 25th year in business. It makes our anniversary much more special. Having our company recognized for the good work we do is also great for our brand. On behalf of the entire Fox Light Air Ambulance team, I'd like to again thank you, Canadian and S Family Magazine. Wow, congrats to everyone at Fox Flight Air Ambulance. And now for the Zero Technopreneur of the Year Award. It's awarded to a business that empowers and embraces technology as a critical aspect of their everyday business operations. They implement it through every area of practice to make a positive impact in all of their experiences for themselves and their clients. Tonight, here are the finalists for this category. Howling Henry Zhu, PhD, founder and CEO of Mech Solutions. Andrea Seesham and Ayumi Moore Aoki, founders of Her Digital Academy. Cassandra Hui, founder of Heal Mary. Tara Milburn, President and CEO of Ethical Swag Inc., a certified B Corp. Jean Simone Venn, founder at Brainbox AI. Please join me in welcoming Fei Pang, Country Manager for Canada, at Zero to announce the winner. Hi everyone, I'm Fei Pang and I'm the Country Manager for Zero here in Canada. Congratulations to all the winners tonight. And thank you to Canadian SME for including Zero as we honor some incredibly inspiring Canadian businesses. For those of you that don't know, Zero is a cloud-based accounting platform. For small businesses, we have over 3 million subscribers globally. Through Zero, small business owners and their advisors have access to real-time financial data anywhere and on any device. Zero offers an ecosystem of over a thousand third-party apps and 300 plus connections to banks and other financial partners, helping all kinds of entrepreneurs build the tech stack they need to digitally transform and efficiently run their businesses. Given some of the incredible ways we've seen technology help businesses transform in my time at Zero, particularly over the last couple of years, I'm excited to present the Technopreneur of the Year Award. This award recognizes entrepreneurs who use innovative ways to find solutions to business problems and embrace them in their business operations. So without further ado, I'm pleased to present the 2022 Canadian SME Award for Technopreneur of the Year to Ethical Swag. Ethical Swag is a distributor of sustainably sourced promotional products in North America. Founded by Tara Milburn, they are on a mission to help HR leaders and business owners make real progress towards their ESG goals by providing them with swag options that are not just sustainable, but mission-driven as well. Among their many certifications, they are certified B Corp, which means they're recognized as a leader in sustainable business practices. Ethical Swag attributes much of their ability to reach a leading standard in sustainable business to their robust tech stack. Music to my ears. The tools they leverage enable agility and efficiency, which in turn helps them meet their sustainability goals. As an example, their backend workflow makes it easy for companies to self-direct their engagement and search for products by social cause, ultimately understanding how their decisions are creating a better reality. Cloud sharing and video conferencing are also well used within ethical swag, helping to enable their team to achieve a better work-life balance and ultimately bring their full selves to work. It's truly awesome. So big congratulations to Tara and the entire Ethical Swag team. We are so excited to see the amazing work that you continue to do in the future. 
Congrats. Hi there, I'm Tara Milburn, President and CEO of Ethical Swag. It is my honor to accept the Technopreneur of the Year National Business Award. Thank you to Canadian SME for the recognition and all of the sponsors, many of whom are our clients and partners. I accept this honor on behalf of our entire team at Ethical Swag. It's particularly rewarding to be recognized for our use of technology. Many might think of us as a traditional promotional products company, but it was my vision to leverage technology as a tool to deliver on our goals of sustainability. We have team members from Nairobi to Nova Scotia to British Columbia, and we have clients all over North America. By leveraging the purchasing power of our clients, many of the world's largest brands, we are having an impact on global sustainability goals. We are proud to be recognized by an organization that recognizes these achievements. Thank you to Canadian SME and all of your sponsors who have made these awards possible. And once again, congratulations, Tara. And thank you, Faye, and the entire team at Zero for sponsoring this award. And now, the next award category is for the fastest growing company. Businesses that have shown an exceptional rate of growth in sales, profit, market share, and customer base expansion. Their employees are thriving. That's the type of business considered for this award. They've overcome challenges through smart business planning and implementing strategies to avoid the pitfalls that perhaps their peers have fallen to. Tonight, here are the five finalists in this category. We begin with Property, Digital 55 Studio, Atlantic Standard HVAC, Frontier Dental Supply, Dr. Phone Fix Canada Limited. Please welcome Nancy Wilson, founder and CEO of the Canadian Women's Chamber of Commerce to announce the winner. Hi, I'm Nancy Wilson from the Canadian Women's Chamber of Commerce and I'm delighted to be at the SME Awards to present the award for the fastest growing company. The winner is Properly. Congratulations. <laughs> received the award for fastest growing company. So thank you Canadian SME for this recognition on behalf of the entire Properly team. It's a really exciting time to be growing a business in Canada. In Properly's case, we've gone from three people at a small shared desk in a co-working space to over 180 people across Canada just in the last four years. And the support that we've received from the small business community has been integral to our success. And so we feel very honored and fortunate to be included in such a great company as we continue to expand. Looking ahead, we're excited to continue growing and serving more Canadians as they buy and sell homes with greater confidence and control, using both technology and innovation to find their dream home and to actually enjoy the process along the way. Canada has such a strong and resilient small business ecosystem, and we're grateful to be a part of it. Thank you again for this recognition. And congrats to the team at Properly. The next award category is for the best place to work. It recognizes businesses that create a healthy work environment for their employees. It's been proven that any work environment where employees feel happier, they just simply perform better. Companies that provide a work environment that is healthy and peaceful are being recognized by the judges who selected finalists for this award. Tonight, these are our five finalists. Uber Flip, Work Tango, Brit Radius Limited, Marlin Spring, and East Coast Lifestyle. Please join me in welcoming Laura Williams, founder and principal of Williams HR Law and Williams HR Consulting, to announce the winner. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Williams, managing partner of Williams HR Law LLP and CEO of Williams HR Consulting Inc. I'm thrilled to present the award for best place to work. In our current climate, being a good employer is no small thing. It's critical. We know that employees right now want to be in workplaces where they feel valued, where they feel they can contribute, and it is no small accolade to have employees feel that they're working for a great employer 
and where they're proud to associate themselves with the employer's brand. This year's award goes to Uber Flip. Congratulations, Uber Flip, for being the best place to work. Hey, it's Joab Schwartz, co-founder and CEO here at Uber Flip, and we're so grateful to be named uh, one of the best places to work uh, by Canadian SME. Um, there's there's uh, lots of factors that that go into making uh, a company like Uber Flip a great place to work. I got to hand it to my leadership team. Um, I think a big component is our learning and development programs that have been put together by our PNC team. Um, you know, and beyond that, it's just the fact that we've been able to adapt to a remote first world while still staying true to our roots of staying really connected and creating an environment where people love to come to work, love what they're working on and, and helping us drive forward on this mission of creating the, the content experience category. Uh, so again, so thankful and uh, hopefully we, we win it again next year. Thanks so much. A big congratulations once again to Uber Flip. the Immigrant Entrepreneur of the Year. It recognizes individuals who have come to a new country, well ours of course here in Canada, and successfully founded a business to move forward in growth and success throughout the year despite the conditions we've all been troubled with. And here are the five finalists for the next category. Martin Basiri, founder of Applyboard. Ju Young Yu, founder of Suko Vitamins. Aina Aliva, founder of Be Agile Tutoring, Jayesh Vikariva, and Linda Biggs, founder of Sheer Simple Laboratories, and Tom Rayner, founder of Rayner Construction Services. And of course, I'm delighted to announce Martin Basiri, co-founder and CEO of Applyboard as the Immigrant Entrepreneur of the Year 2021. Congrats once again, Martin. Magazine for selecting me and Apply Board for Immigrant Entrepreneur of the Year. It's such an honor and pleasure. We appreciate it. Uh, you know, being an immigrant is very challenging coming from another country to Canada. Uh, new culture, new language. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's very challenging. And being an entrepreneur is also uh, very challenging. You know, there's so much to learn, so much new things to do. And being an immigrant entrepreneur is kind of double challenging. Uh, you know, not only you need to like build a business from a scratch, but also you need to like adopt to a new country. Um, we really appreciate you selecting us. We hope we were able to um, inspire a lot of other immigrants to start a company. There are a lot of advantage of also being an immigrant uh, entrepreneur. Um, one of many is uh, you can think from uh, outside of the box and also um, the second one is like you have a global view from day one. You, you, it depends on where you're from, coming from. You may have access to uh, great uh, connections, uh, talent network or services from the country that you're coming from or the countries that you are um, you're familiar with. End of the story, being an entrepreneur uh, is interesting, is uh, challenging and uh, you know, it's a lot to learn being an immigrant is challenging. Uh, it's a lot to learn, and uh, it's it's something that I recommend a lot of people to do it, to experience it, to learn it in their life. It's completely um, something that uh, I'm I'm very happy that I've done it and I, I went through the learning path, and I hope uh, I hope that um, for those of you who decide to like go that path, I wish you guys success. And now for the Best Professional Services Award category. This award is for an organization that embodies the strength of excellent customer service, business growth, innovation, technology, and they adopt and adapt training and personal development. This category is open to legal, financial, hospitality, retail, and other categories as well. The judges were considering both professional services that have demonstrated the ability to successfully build and manage business and prove continuous growth. Tonight, here are the finalists for this category. And we begin 
with ED for RDs, that's Eating Disorder Education for Registered Dietitians, The Heritage Trust Company, Inc., Prosh Marketing, Jelly Digital Marketing and PR, and 2M7 Financial Services. Congratulations to the team at ED for RDs, Eating Disorder Education for Registered Dietitians for winning the Best Professional Services Award for 2021. Hello. I am so thrilled to be a part of the 2021 Canadian SME Awards and to be accepting this Professional Services Award. My name is Shauna Melbourne. I'm a registered dietitian and I specialize in the treatment of eating disorders. I'm also the founder and owner of ED for RDs, Eating Disorder Education for Registered Dietitians. ED for RDs is an online platform just for dietitians to learn about eating disorder support and care. We don't uh, learn about eating disorders in school. And about five years ago, I developed ED for RDs to train and support and help dietitians across Canada. And now we have grown internationally um, to learn about eating disorders and how to best support in a compassionate and safe way individuals and families living with eating disorders. I feel very honored uh, to be chosen as the winner of this professional service award. You know, I feel very proud of ED for RDs to begin with, um, but I really feel this extra layer of proudness uh, since being chosen and selected by a panel of these very distinguished judges as part of the Canadian SME Awards. When I think about ED for RDs, it's really touched so many practices and lives of dietitians worldwide. And I feel very motivated and excited uh, that we are now being recognized as uh, a model in the business world as a professional service. You know, the, the courses and the products that we offer at ED for RDs has really been shaped by the dietitians, by the participants. And I feel that I, I would like to accept this award on behalf of all of the dietitians who have participated in ED for RDs, as well as my hardworking team uh, that supports ED for RDs and keeps us going, as well as the Canadian SME. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <music> This last award category of the evening is for the best business support organization in Canada. This award is destined for the organization that has supported businesses and entrepreneurs as they navigate the path of entrepreneurship. Therefore, every contribution that helps Canadian SMEs succeed is recognized and awarded. All organizations, whether for-profit or non, are eligible to apply under this category if they supported Canadian businesses by contributing their resources and expertise. Tonight, here are the finalists for this important and critical category. And we begin with the York Entrepreneurship Development Institute, Yeti. Taylin Business Solutions. The Biz Dojo and Real Biz Moms. To present this award, please welcome David Smith, President executive leadership coach, consultant, and speaker at Logia Coaching and Consulting. I just love award shows, and it's a real honor to be serving this year as a judge again. Starting a new business as an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart. And I know because I've started a few and had the vantage point of being a corporate banker reviewing business plans. In the past decade, uh, as an executive coach to many leaders and entrepreneurs, so I've seen the dreams, heard the stories, and felt them deeply too. In general, entrepreneurs in new business startups don't face a strong likelihood of success in the first couple of years. It's very difficult times, in fact. Those that have chosen to incubate and launch a new business in the last couple of years have needed nerves of steel, incredible smarts and focus, plus the right support and partnership. That's where our winner, in the best business support organization has excelled. This year's winner has served over 1,500 entrepreneurs in all industries, for-profit and non-for-profit, including 350 international entrepreneurs from their two international campuses, many of whom are now here in Canada. 
They've developed a world-class curriculum, including a development program for founders of non-for-profits and social ventures to support their unique need on the road to sustainability, all at no cost. So entrepreneurs are never left out due to lack of resources. Most significantly, they can report that 87% of their clients are in business and growing one year after the program is completed. They have what it takes to ensure entrepreneurs have the skills and talents needed to make an impact. In fact, they have been ranked by UBI Global as the number one business accelerator in the world. Please join me in congratulating the Best Business Support Organization of the Year Award to York Entrepreneurship Development Institute. Dear Canadian SMEs, thank you very much for presenting us this prestigious award as the Best Canadian Business Support Organization. It's a big honor for us. And we here at Yeti trying to do our very best to help uh, entrepreneurs, both Canadian and international, here in Canada in all the possible ways. We're a charitable organization, academic institution, so we run different programs which are tuition free for Canadians, including our new and very important diploma program uh, in entrepreneurship and small business management. So, Dear entrepreneurs out, out there, please join us. Please send your employees to this program. Uh, check us on, on uh, our website, yeti.ca. On top of everything, we are not only academic institution, we are also venture fund, so we have the resources to help the entrepreneurs to launch and grow. And we have our business acceleration campuses, both in Toronto and York region, uh, where we provide all the possible services and connections uh, for entrepreneurs. So once again, thank you very much and let's get together. Congratulations to the entire team at Yeti. Of course, that's York Entrepreneurship Development Institute. Let's give a special round of applause to all 31 amazing winning entrepreneurs and for the successful small business owners as you are being recognized as a true inspiration to yourselves, first of all, to the important people in your family and to the entire business community across Canada. Remember to support what we do and promote us on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and tag Canadian SME Business Magazine as the recipient of this incredible awards we've seen tonight. Let's keep empowering the small business community together by encouraging small business owners and entrepreneurs who hold our economy together. It's up to all of us to promote and support one another as small businesses to not just survive, but thrive through these ever-changing times. Once again, we'd like to thank our exclusive banking partner, RBC, UPS, our shipping partner, and our award category sponsors, KPMG, HP, GoDaddy, Zero, Zoho, Nerds On Site, MyTax, Alexio, for making these awards possible. Thank you all for joining us tonight. It's been an honor. My name is Shiraz Sadiq, your host, for Canadian SME National Business Awards 2021.